They're the unsung heroes of the ATP World Tour. No one is more important to a player than their personal coach. Advisor, mentor, psychologist, friend. They can be the difference between success and failure. After a playing career which saw him reach 34 in the world and captain his country's Davis Cup team, Marianne Vida became a coach. And not a coach to just any player. Vida is the man behind the spectacular rise of world number three, Novak Djokovic. He's like my second father. And uh, I have a, a much more than a coach and player relationship with him. And uh, he's. He's a very emotional guy and uh, we have a lot of fun outside of the court, which is very important for me. Uh, there's just good spirit in the team and positive energy. The Slovakian has guided the Serbian from teenage prodigy through to Grand Slam success. He knows firsthand what it takes to be a winner. And his opinions are forthright. Tennis is not for everybody. You must be a really strong person like an individual person, strong character. It's uh, also, you know, passion for the sport and um, winning attitude inside. And he comes, uh, all of these uh, features from him, it comes to you and uh, you, have to, you have to grab it and you have to work on it. I think uh, there are players which are really, really strong background from the families. And uh, this, is, this is a big aspect, you know, if the family keeps you in the sport and they are involved, part of it, so this is a big aspect, it's, you get a lot of energy, like, you know. Today, every top player travels the world with an entourage. But Djokovic prefers a tight unit, overseen by Vida. Around Novak, there are three guys. There are a fitness coach, physio and a coach. He doesn't have any mental coach. He's uh, surrounded by the team which try to improve him and uh, he, he feels the most uh, relaxed. We try to keep it positive on the positive aspects and all the time like this building up on the constructive way. So, you know, and he's also creative and uh, kind of, uh, you know, relaxing guy. So we have to act, especially on his, on his ability, if he, you know, and tiredness, if he's okay, if he's, we have to be flexible. So we have to, we, especially now before the tournament, we, have, we cannot get him tired so much because he's still playing matches. It's not all work and no play on the tour. Novak has a reputation for enjoying himself. It's about releasing the pressure valve from time to time. Novak is finishing the season strongly. Winning in Beijing last month, he's looking good for the ATP World Tour Finals in London. His partnership with Marianne Vida is as strong as it's ever been. And the best for player and coach may still be yet to come. He, uh, he contributed a lot in these three and a half years. Basically, since we started working, I won every single title in my career. We've been through highs and lows, uh, not just in my tennis career, in my life as well. He's the person that I can talk with, and uh, he's like a part of my family. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, he's the man on the verge of sealing the seventh spot at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals, Russia's Nikolai Davidenko. We have a full report from a star-studded field as the ATP Tour goes to Valencia. And we talk triumph, tribulation and the meaning of life with American legend Michael Chang. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 coverage of the ATP World Tour. See you next time.